Hi, we will learn a 3D Blender female character from start to end. For Blender character modeling, we need at least two high quality reference images, front view and the side view. I have something like this for the front view and side view. After completing this series, we will have output more or less like this. We will follow these steps adding reference images, setup layout, model the character, clothing and accessories. Few short keys here for you that we will use in this task. Let's start. First we will add the reference images. I will start from the front image. You can control the visibility of this image from here. It seems to be a little down, so I will you make it up on the y-axis and bound this image only for the front view add another image for the side view bound it for the right view only and same adjust the visibility of it and follow it uh, make it little bit up copy the layout rename it to character have two similar views get rid of this window make it for the front you will start from the front so I use to create a plane here rotate it along x axis to the 90 degree Scale it to fit on the upper lip. Scale it down. This image is slightly uh, out of uh, center. So we may adjust it for the front view. Along x axis. Now it fits in the center. Middle of this. Middle of the screen add a loop cut here go to edit mode tools add loop cut click enter delete this face add modifier turn on the clipping and editing now by using this mirror you may have a quick setup here for the right hand side the left hand side will follow on it so let's start extruding this and rotating it a little bit for this particular view we don't need to have it perfect as close as much possible for the reference image let's make, try to make a nose here for, with these two edges extrude them push them slightly inside take down go to the edge mode leave this edge and extrude one up to the middle of the nose and another near to the uh, near to the eyebrow here extrude this, this edge for the eye 
and just sit slightly through this rotate it through this too for the upper lid select both these edges and hit the F key to have the face inside you may adjust the vertex if you want we may do it in the later session too let's get back to the lips here and you screw it one more time scale it a little pull this vertex away from this select both these vertex hit alt m and that put on the center screw it one more time merge the two vertexes select these edges and hit F to fill this, these faces shoot one more time the last extrude for this our 2d mask is ready here it is looking like this you may save it and may use it for any of your character let's transfer it to the 3d we will select from the front side view front view and pull the vertices from the side view so I will start from the middle line here go to the wireframe for the better reference it not need to be exactly same position as our reference image it's just you may just move these as as possible as as much as possible afterwards on the 3d view you may have adjustment slightly to fit better It's better to move sequentially so that we get not confused in it. Now the next column. It will make our nose. So I'm keep moving these vertices one by one. It's keep it seems to be tiring work. 
it's not difficult but it's taking time Here we have the outer boundary of the eye. After pulling all vertices forward in the side view, we have something like this. Go to the default view and take a full look. It's not looking really nice. It has sharp edges and the corners here. So we may, may add the sub subdivision surface modifier here. Make it two for the view. And optical display and the turn on the editing so now you can see that it's looking really nice here and you may check it for the your front view and the go to the wireframe so it's fitting nicely on the reference image for the next uh, uh, video we will make the head and the neck and the rest of the body so see you then